So why work with employers? You know, everybody up here has basically talked about how they've worked with individuals, and as you've seen, they all have smiles on their faces. They're all very happy with what they're doing. So why consider working with employers? You know, when I see uh, doctors switching from an insurance-based practice and switching over to direct primary care, they seem to be filling up their practices relatively rapidly, especially if they're able to go back and recruit from that insurance-based practice. So from one to three years, they could be full with their own private panel. And like I said, they're very happy with this. And while I agree that this is the purest form of direct primary care with that patient choosing their doctor and taking their own money to pay that doctor, and I think that that model is the best for doctors, and it's the best for the healthcare system, and it's the best for patients, those that can afford it anyway, for now, our country has decided to finance our health care system mainly through benefits that are funded in part by employers. And as you can see on this slide, nearly half of the American population is obtaining health care coverage through their employer. Of the remainder of people, the great majority of them are obtaining health care th coverage through a governmental source. So we've all tried to change the system from within the system, and it hasn't changed. Some of us have opted out, and we're working with individuals through direct primary care, and we're trying to change legislation in order to change the system as well. And I believe that this is probably going to be more effective than working within the system, but it's still going to be a long slog to change the healthcare system as a whole in this manner. So the, the most easily accessible lever to change the entire system in my opinion, is the same group that has the, the incentive or the biggest incentive to utilize highly effective primary care, and I'm talking about employers. And if we can get employers to consider changing the way that they pay for care in large enough numbers anyway, well, then the system can bend to their desires. This is the power of the purse string. If we all decide, hey, I, I all no longer want the, the, you know, the regular ophthalmoscope, I want it the panoptic, well, Welch Allen is no longer going to make the regular ophthalmoscope. They're going to make more panoptics. So we, the ones that provide the dollars, determine what the vendors do, and it's the same situation here. So we have an opportunity to help employers understand why they should change the way that they pay for care and to help them in implement that change. But we have to be willing to work with employers in order to change the system, and we cannot be so rigid as to say, that it's our way or the highway. I think the stakes are just too high when you consider what have been the downstream ramifications of an out-of-control healthcare system.